Silence is not always golden, okay? Do you know I'm your greatest fan? I know every film you've ever cut in the history of Singapore! For example, five cuts were made in the talented Mr. Ripley, and from Eric Koo's 12 stories, one entire scene was cut! There were two cuts in Titanic, four cuts in Stir of Echo starring Kevin Bacon, five cuts in the movie Scratch, two cuts in Swimming Pool, two cuts in the Hong Kong film Purple Storm, and two cuts in the French film Love Me If You Dare! There were five cuts in Possessed, one cut in The Man Who Wasn't There, five cuts in Intimacy, one cut in Infernal Affairs, House on Haunted Hill starring Jeffrey Rush, six cuts, City of God, at least one, three cuts in The Hours, and the acclaimed French film Eight Women, cut one, left seven women only. There were nine cuts in The Discovery of Heaven, if PG, two cuts in The Center of the World, six cuts in Chicago, four cuts in the Korean film Bi Chun Mu, and in Yitu Mama Tambien, the most important scene was cut, RA also you cut! And in Sofia Coppola's Lost in Translation, the scene with the women dancing topless in the bar was also cut, very daring, Golden Globe Award winner also you cut! I wonder if your husband is cut. <laughs> Let me test you. How about our Singaporean film 15, directed by that street gang leader Royston Tan? Can I remember right? 27 cuts! I'm so proud of you! Your highest record so far! But the Japanese film in the realm of the senses, amazingly no cuts. Why? Because it's still banned! Like the Wong Kar Wai film Happy Together, banned together! So happy! Coming back to Chicago, I'm so glad you cut out those two scenes of the man removing the woman's stockings and the man in bed with two women. Imagine all of us going home and imitating that after watching the film. And with Chicago, the Board of Censors took on a new challenge to display their musical skills by re-editing the songs. Suddenly, lyrics like You've been screwing the milkman and sweet puss of yours and this fancy pussy were cut out to make the songs flow smoother. Even Andrew Lloyd Webber cannot re-edit his songs the way you can. How do you think an acclaimed director like Alan Parker would feel if he knew his film was cut, like the three scenes deleted from Angela's Ashes? Wouldn't that affect the integrity of the film, what the director wants, his vision? Ah, and then the horror films, ah, you always cut out all the scary and gory parts. I ask you what's the point in watching a horror film if there's no horror left at all? It's like eating fried kway without the kway teow! And every time you censor or don't censor a film, ah, especially those Oscar winning films, ah, you cannot curse by thousands of Singaporeans. How do you cope with that pressure every time? Do you think the day will come that Singaporeans can practice self-censorship? Hmm? Don't like, don't watch lah! Then at least you censors don't have to feel so misunderstood, right? We are honestly very fortunate to have you to protect us from the evils of the arts. But being our so-called nanny, you yourself are exposed to all these uncensored and controversial scenes. What I really want to know is, who looks after your moral welfare? Or do you have a special charm to protect you? I mean, isn't it a work hazard? How do you resist the evil temptation to become a call girl when you watch the uncut version of Chicago? Or a drug addict when you watch the uncut train spotting? Or a lesbian when you watch Boys Don't Cry? Or a serial killer when you see the Japanese film Battle Royale? The way you sacrifice yourself to protect us is too much for me to handle. Tissue. Thank you. By the way, do you get turned on when you watch sexually explicit hey. films? Sorry, too sensitive. Hey, very nice wig. Ow, it cuts. Time for a haircut. Before I forget, the Pirated DVD Association of Johor Bahru would like to thank the Board of Censors for your efficiency in chopping all the films in Singapore, leading to a 65% increase in profit over the years! <laughs> I am a great fan of the censors. I'm truly amazed by the way you re-edit certain films. The frequent jump cut style of editing seems to pay homage to the French new wave kind of editing. Would you consider giving editing classes in a film school if you were given the opportunity? You seem to have developed your own style. Highly original, very daring, sometimes too Wong Kar Wai. I heard a vicious rumour from a housewife in Amokyo that the BFC is actually coming out of a machine that will censor our thoughts, but then they abolished it because it will put all the censors out of a job. Is that true? 